I'm going to stick this camera in the cab so you guys can see her reaction of driving a semi truck for the first time. Well, here we are again. My God, I'm ugly sometimes. Jeez. Oh, uh, let's see. We dropped the uh, those last semi trucks off down in Florida yesterday. I think we got home at like 8:30, 9 o'clock ish. Look at me. I got sunburned. It was uh, it was hot out there. So. It is uh, supposed to rain today. So I'm not sure how much of this I'm gonna get done. But this is the deck in the before. Um, the boards just aren't holding up good. Uh, like I was telling you guys before, I put these boards on because this is what it came with. Like I never replaced these. These are still the original boards just because I'd already put these plates on. I didn't wanna have to take the plates off in order to replace these. So that's what the trailer had on before. So that's what I went with. And obviously it didn't hold up that great. I mean, honestly, if you did nothing but like pallets and stuff, it would last forever. But we drive forklifts and semi trucks and backhoes and everything else. That's a uh, hook to a backhoe bucket. When they set the backhoe bucket on there, um, they punched a hole right through the deck. I believe that would happen with no matter what board you had on here. Um, normally, what I try to do is throw a 4x4 four four across. And they just loaded it before I realized. But, um, I don't know. I mean, it lasted for what we needed it for. Look at that. that that's, that's breaking. So, it's going to be roughly uh, 700 bucks to put some 2x. I'm going to put 2x8 by 16s here because that's what fits in this gap the best and then I'm doing two by tens here because that's what fills this gap up the best yeah this is uh before it's supposed to rain today Lita's gonna go ahead and go pay for the lumber I don't know if uh they're gonna be open tomorrow because tomorrow's Easter Sunday I'm gonna pull all the boards up I'm gonna pressure wash these beams really good, wire brush them again, and I'm gonna repaint all the tops of these beams again. Um, one of the best investments that I've ever bought is this hammer screwdriver. Um, basically, if you have a screw that's stuck and you don't want to strip out the threads, um, basically you would stick this so it's got a left hand and a right hand, and uh, depending on if you're trying to put it in obviously or take it out since I'm trying to take these out and if I get a screw and I don't want to strip the top of the head you just stick this on the screw and then you smack it with a hammer and what that does is that keeps it from stripping out but it also loosens or tightens it at the same time it is absolutely amazing I've always wanted one I bought this one probably a year ago maybe and I uh I've used it more times than I thought I would ever like uh, the carburetor on my motorcycle the bottom bolts somebody had marred up a little bit with a screwdriver already and I was able to take comes with a couple of different bits I was able to take one of those Phillips heads and just tap on it with a hammer and it just it pulls them right out no problem so as long as the bolt itself doesn't break this thing right here is is worth its weight in gold Change. 
Good morning. It is now um, Tuesday or Wednesday. I can't remember now. Um, got the call yesterday that we got the other trucks. So this uh, this deck took a little longer than I thought it would, but we got the bottom part done. But we have yet to do the top part. Pretty much worked on it uh, all weekend. And uh, pretty much took yesterday off because the day before, just the amount of pushing that I did while drilling all the holes for all the bolts, my, uh, my right hand was killing me. <laughs> so Lita talked me into taking the day off. And then she went to town to get stuff for dinner and I came out here and started working on it on it anyways and uh, what's funny is I was talking to my neighbor and uh, he's like do you have anything after after you get this deck done you know and I explained to him how we did the semi trucks and how um, they kind of busted up the deck and hopefully we get the other semi trucks then my phone started ringing and i looked at the number and i was like oh this might be them right here sure enough it was her saying uh they got the other trucks ready for us so she said there's four four more trucks but i want to say that they said that there was uh six to eight more trucks so i'll talk to the guys when we get there hopefully it's not one of those situations where somebody else got a, got a thing of trucks already but i don't know i guess we'll see when we get there so lita's inside feeding the dogs i'm gonna come out here and make sure we got everything up before and uh i am beat up that that is a job um we we took and we painted all the uh, cross beams and all underneath the trailer and everything real nice so everything's nice and weather protected under there again. Actually, last time that we did it, I think I only did the tops of the beams. And this time we did all everywhere. So. Oh, Robert, if you would have done it right the first time, uh, you wouldn't have to do it the second time. If your mom would have swallowed you, I wouldn't have to hear you complain. All right. Let me uh, start packing this thing up and getting ready. And uh, we'll see you guys in a bit. Well, I went to start the truck. Went to start the truck a little bit ago. And it was hard to start. And I better not be losing another injector. I'm going to lose my freaking mind. I will lose my freaking mind. I'm gonna get this thing, get this thing turned around. Lita's gonna clear out everything that fell underneath the trailer. As I was cutting some boards, some little pieces fell. So, anyways, yeah, truck was hard to start again. I checked the uh, the your fuel filter. It still, it's still got some life left in it. I might just go ahead and replace it anyways, but I don't know. We'll see. All right, back for round four. Is this our fourth load total? Well, then we do. We did three loads, right? And this is number four. Thanks. So. Yeah. Yeah, got our ramp set up. I had to notch these because these boards technically come over to here. So it's notched down and cut over. Same with this corner here on both of these. It wasn't fun, was it, Dad? 
Dang. It's going down. All right, looks like they're bringing our first truck. Two uh, single axle trucks just fit on here perfectly, man. What's the other one? The other ones are single too? Yeah, I'm sure they are. Okay. But it's super nice that uh, we don't have to put our ramps up here. This one drives really good. It's got a million, 90,000. I didn't see how many miles that thing has, but that, that one back there is a piece of crap. This one right here actually drove pretty nice. All right, let me get these ramps up. Here we are again. I didn't realize it, but you can uh, you can take your equipment or your trucks or whatever over there to one of these buildings and they, they'll sandblast it and paint it for you. So you really have to watch what you're buying out here because it looks like a lot of these trucks look like they're really nice, but they might just be painted turds. Let me, uh, if I ever told you guys, I put a, uh, I've got the dump valve obviously for this axle in the in the in the truck. But I I put a uh, a hand valve in here to dump these airbags. Oh, hold on. both airbags so to make loading and unloading a little easier so that'll drain both airbags both sets of airbags which keep the trailer from kind of rocking back and forth because the trailer will be sitting on the tires uh, when you're loading and unloading and uh, puts it down lower for the ramps so looks like it's gonna rain so we got to hustle
pretty much all the <coughs> Jesus all the uh, all the FedEx trucks get delivered to the Valdosta area and then they drive them down from Valdosta give them the new truck and then bring back the old truck and then they strip the truck down and then take them to auction so that's why uh, Valdosta is a nice hot spot and hopefully we get all the trucks from now on. Um, it is a lot of work, but I am super grateful for for the work. I mean, it's really good paying. We're home every night. You can't beat it. So, it's a 90% chance of rain today. Oh, I didn't even think about that for me and Lita want to try to find a uh, Thai food place after drop-off. I don't know how that's going to work. We, we won't be able to do that if it's raining, though. Because we're going to have to get the sir on down. And, and ride to get some food. I don't know if I told you guys either. We finally got uh, title to the bike. So we went to take the bike out for the first time. When was that? A couple weeks ago? And... Uh, We were gonna go eat at a Thai food place over by the military base here in Valdosta. So we hop on the bike and it's running a little rough, which I kind of expected it to. Like, it's been sitting up for three years. And then we get to my mom's house. We stop by my mom's house on the way just to say hey. And then we go to leave and like the bike will not stay running to save my life. Like every time I go to take off, the bike dies. And I'm like, gosh dang it finally get it to where it'll ride and we go by the Thai food place and the Thai food place has been closed. Sucks. I mean I don't know if it was any good or not though. We never even got a chance to try it out. But like on the way home like we, we barely made it home. Like it would not run. So I brought it home. I cleaned the carburetors. I didn't buy a re I didn't buy the rebuild kit. And there's a uh, special screw on the bottom of the carburetor that I couldn't take off to clean. It takes a uh, single D uh, screwdriver. It's basically the shape of, the end of the screwdriver is in the shape of a D. Uh, but I cleaned the carburetor a couple times. No luck. So finally I ordered a rebuild kit and that uh, special screwdriver. So I haven't had time to clean it up, but hopefully this weekend I'll have time to clean it up. And, uh, be able to ride that thing again but uh yeah we're going to uh hopefully if it's not raining i hope it doesn't rain on us loading or unloading this honestly because that deck and those ramps are pretty slippery when they're wet so i don't know we'll have to see with that anyways it's like eight o'clock in the morning so we're going to try to get over here and get these things loaded up and get them delivered that way we can uh, beat that Orlando traffic in. We beat the traffic going in pretty good, but I think we got stuck. Um, I don't know why it takes us the way it does out. It doesn't take us back that toll road. I think because we can't make a left out of that um, auction. So, I think it takes us through town we hit every single stoplight. Maybe we should just go down, turn around, and then get back on the turnpike. Turn around and that loves. Yeah, that loves or that or that raceway or whatever that is. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how that raceway is. I don't know. All right. Well, today's the last load, so uh, we'll see you there. Stay on top of it today. Normally we don't get our first truck until we get our ramps down. I guess they, I pulled in and they seen and uh, had the trucks ready for us already. The, air, the trailer hasn't even aired down yet. That one looks like it's got a decent amount of blow by. Both single axle though, so we don't need to use the ramps on the top deck. I'm excited for that. Both single axle. They got trailers they need taken down too. Oh yeah. Yeah. I imagine. 
Well, there's the last load of trucks for now. Luckily, we didn't get rained on. Hopefully, we can get these things unloaded uh, before it rains. Trailer seems to be doing good. I think I got the airbag situation figured out. Honestly, I think what's happened was I took a really tall load and I lowered the leveling valve one time and then I just always left it at that level. You know, I'd only leave a couple inches between the tire and the trailer. And I don't think those leveling valves have, they're not that precise. So I think you have to leave a pretty good size gap in order for them to realize that they are being pushed down and to air up again, so. That's it. Need to double check the numbers. Let this thing finish airing up, we'll get out of here. Thank you! trucks for a while so I think we're gonna try to use their um, they've got like a loading dock ramp um, wall kind of over here I mean, that's a little bit of a walk yeah. so we're trying to decide on how to do this like I might have Lee to drive one of the trucks back with me and we either walk back together or she drives a truck back there and then we drive it back, pick up this truck, and then drive the other one back. I mean, but like, I mean, we drive that way, but it's like actually over there. In that back, in that back corner, yeah. though. So it's gonna be a walk if we walk it. I guess let's see how you feel if you want to drive it back there. If you feel like you can just drive it back again, as I follow you in the, in our truck. You know what I mean? I think she's found us a place to eat Thai food. I don't know if I told him that. Probably not. We're gonna go try to find a place to eat Thai food. Yeah, we're gonna have to probably park and ride over there. I told Lita if we could find somebody that can make some Thai food, we'll just we'll just move her in. I don't care how big her wiener is. <laughs> Because <laughs> you know them Thai chicks, they got some wiener or something. <laughs> yes. uh, oh, that's funny. I mean, it's supposed to be decent. Yeah, it's just finding parking is the problem. I, I mean, if you want it, you probably have to park this at a truck stop. An Uber over there? Because you say it's like 16 minutes. 13. I don't know if I'm going to ride the Suron for 16 minutes. Yeah, I know, but... And you don't really want Thai food that bad. I mean, also, it's it's 1 o'clock right now. Yeah. So let's say it takes us, even if it takes us 2 hours to unload, it's going to have us at 3 o'clock. Yeah. I wonder if we should find something closer up north, maybe like Gainesville? Yeah, 
yeah. or um, Ocala, something like that. They've got an auction coming up here soon. And I don't know what you do. I don't know if you come out and like walk around and look at everything that you would be interested. Man, we got here just in time. That line is backed up. I feel like there's people at that dock now. Yeah, there's definitely a red truck backed up to that dock now. There's a silver truck over here. Oh, I can't see that. I got I got this yeah. truck in my way. But they might they're probably not doing semi trucks, they're probably doing heavy equipment. The heavy equipment stuff is you unload it. Target right here. I don't know, dude. I don't know. We gotta wait to this line though, and then we'll figure out what we're gonna do. out there helping him too baby Like I said, is it straighter now? A little bit. Yeah. Bit. It's so hard to tell because yeah. I'm lined up with the truck next to me. I wonder yeah, if he's crooked. He's crooked. Oh. <laughs> but like, there's just like a little wedge. I mean, I think it's probably close enough. I mean, that's a FedEx truck there. It's, I don't remember taking a red frame, but. I think that dude took a red frame. I don't remember either. Uh, yeah, we're still a little crooked. He's not crooked, but we're lined up with him, so... I don't know. That should be good enough. We can get these things off like this. dump my airbags before I unload that one because even that little bit of a drop was was no joke so I'm gonna put lead in this truck I'm gonna drive it back there and drop it off I'm going to stick this camera in the cab so you guys can see her reaction of driving a semi truck for the first time because something tells me She's gonna be hitting on that brake and sending her forehead into the steering wheel a few times. All right, so 
neutral is your park when you pull this yellow knob, okay? So, when you go to put it park, you're gonna put it neutral and then pull this yellow knob. Okay. And then to go, put your foot on the brake. Okay. Push in the brake. Yeah, see if you can slide it forward some. There you go. Okay, put your foot on the brake, and then push this yellow knob in, and then drop it down to D. Okay? All right. Got your phone? Yeah. All right, good luck. Follow me.
cool to make it go. Yeah. How was that? Um, I don't know. It wasn't bad, right? I can't tell if it's like supposed to be like jerky like that or what. It's pretty jerky. That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> So that's it for the trucks. Um, I thought I could maybe get us a little closer, but I think they're up there doing inventory. So I don't want to mess up their inventory and pull this one ahead of ones that they're already doing. What do you think of that, woman? Um, you you ready to drive home? You don't want me driving home. Why? Because I think you can handle it. You don't want me driving home. I mean, there's a lot of trucks out here you would think would be nice, like that Mac right there, but I bet there's. There's probably something really wrong. Or maybe with not. That. I mean, that's a good looking truck. Yeah. Some good looking stuff out here. Um, Might be worth coming back and checking out the auction. It's a shame we dumped so much money into our truck that we can't. I don't really want to buy another truck and have something else happen either or because we would be screwed. So now we have to walk way back over that way. Maybe we can catch a ride with a golf cart guy. Show him some leg. <laughs> black painted leg <laughs> all right i guess we'll see you back at the truck we're at the uh, loading dock i bet we could jump this i tried have you I don't have <laughs> well that's nice we got a ride yeah do you want to hear the bad news what I think I, uh, the bad news is I think I left my, one of my gloves in one of those trucks. Oh, that. Yeah, oh yeah, it's, it's gone now. So we just got to put up the, the chains and the binders and, uh, bounce. Oh man, we got unloaded just in time. Oh man, the rain gods were on our side today. I got a little bit wet, but not as wet as Lita's getting right now. <laughs> Put some straps up. Oh, I'm so gross. Oh, come on, baby. goodness I am gross yeah so I end up forgetting one of my gloves in one of those trucks I mean I started wearing a hole in one of the fingers so it's not like a complete and total loss but I will definitely have to get me some more gloves because this job has made my hands soft I remember when I first got into this my, my hands were like callous like people were like don't touch the chains without your gloves. Now I'm like, I can't touch anything without gloves. Lunch plate. Ah, oh, 
that's a bummer. There's one of the gloves right there, the right-handed one. So it'll keep my right hand soft. And the right hand's the most important one. My gloves fall out of my door all the time. Yeah. Well, we can't eat Thai food like this. Nope. Well, that was awesome that that guy gave us a ride. Oh, yeah. Man, if, if we, we would still got... be we would still be walking in this. Alright guys, I guess uh see you at the restaurant. <laughs> I mean and they were still running the water truck around. Yeah. I mean man, talk about perfect timing. Yeah. Our deck's getting wet and can't stain that till it dries out for a couple of days. Wonder what's going on with this truck. I mean, did he have that on there when we got here? That I have no idea. I don't, I don't think anybody's been to this truck. Yeah. It's almost like he came to pick up or deliver and then his truck broke down. Because I haven't seen the guy. All right, so there is no parking. And it's about to rain or else we would unload the sur on and go. So I'm kind of parked on the side of the road here with my hazards on and Lita's gonna run over there and grab us some Thai food. Sucks, this is the only intersection that doesn't have a crosswalk, so she better be careful. I was busy watching the TikTok as well. What you think? I don't know. Is it gonna be good? Are we gonna eat it right now? I got some crab ragoons. Oh. Aww. Oh, they're weird looking. They're like little balls. Are these all mine? I can have them. I got dumplings and uh, there's a rice. Little balls. No, I just didn't want to like. I'm not gonna eat. I'm not gonna eat them all. Some of them are yours. I'll have one. I got dumplings and uh, spring rolls. <gasps> this shit's hot. Maybe we should get out of the Orlando area. Yeah. And we can pull over to somewhere. Why is it disconnected from the e log? <laughs> at the uh, rest area on the turnpike we're getting ready to eat our Thai food what is this chicken uh, no pork Massima. Oh, pork Massima. Mm. this is gonna be great Yeah. 